not. Not concerned? Not. That's my level. Not. Um, the oh. reason I'm not concerned is if you take two Hall of Famers off of any team, what you expect them to do. Mm. And right now, Antonio Brown, been injured. Right yeah. now, Rob Gronkowski goes from having uh, uh, bruised ribs to back spasms, been injured. Mm. You took out three of their four touchdown passes in the Super Bowl. A.B. got two, if I'm not mistaken. Gronk got one, and Leonard Fournette got one. So what you expect to happen? Those are their best players. Those are their leaders. I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned about Tom Brady because we know what happens when Tom Brady flips the switch. We saw him throw that pass high to Mike Evans. It ends up getting intercepted. Mm. I watched the entirety of that game a couple times because Devin White, at linebacker for the Bucs, is a beast. <laughs> so I'm not really tripping because the Bucs are going to be fine. Uh. Give them A.B. back. Give them Gronk back. Both those players are supposed to come back this week, if not next. As soon as they return, it's going to be lights out for the opposing teams. Furthermore, um, maybe we had Gronk on the show in the offseason. I don't recall. I think we had Gronk on the show. And he said how, like, Tom Brady was sending out text messages over the course of the playoffs, reminding his players to stay locked in. When it's time to lock in, the Bucs are going to lock in. Mm. When it's time for Tom Brady to get everybody right, he going to get everybody right. Now, it might not get them all the way right to a Super Bowl because the Cowboys look great, yeah. Cardinals look great. Yeah. I think the Rams still have talent. But Tom Brady can get the Bucs right enough to handle the business they need to handle, get to the playoffs, maybe get a bye. If you don't get a bye, at least you get a two or three seed and you <clears> will be <throat> just fine. Give Washington credit. Washington played a great game. Give Washington credit. So they had a 19-play, a 10-minute touchdown drive at the end of the game. <laughs> Typically, it's a four-minute drill. Typically, it's just, hey, we want to melt the clock on a four-minute drill. Remember. Washington ran a 10-minute drill, drill, led to a touchdown, put the game out of reach. Good so thing. I'm going to give Washington their credit, but I ain't worried at all about the Bucs. Yeah, that same Washington team that played them well in the playoffs last year. Maybe they just have their number of uh, uh, some kind of respect. But, look, I'm not concerned at all. Well, let me say low to no concern because, look, Tom Brady is resilient. I think the attribute that jumps out to me the most is how he – just can take all adversity and then get to still where he wants to go. Think about this. Tom Brady has taken every different route to hoist that Lombardi trophy, whether it's, hey, let me lean on my special teams. Let me lean on my defense. Hey, let's lean on the offense. Let me be prolific as a passer. Let me come back. Whatever you want to say, he's going to get there, but he's not going to take the same route every single time. Last year, 7-5, and five. people are discounting him, laughing at him. Oh, man, don't even know it's fourth down. <laughs> and then what does he do? Like you said, hit that switch. Snap. Here they go again. But I have no concern. So I have low concern because it's like you're in that position again. And look, you're a human being. You're going to doubt someone when they see all this adversity. And this team right now, obviously, a little bit of a struggle. But they have wins over the Cowboys. They have wins over the Falcons, whatever you want to think of them. They have wins over the Patriots as well. So a win over those teams makes me start to say no concern. And then I start getting my nerd on. And I start looking at these numbers. I'm like, we better stop playing with these Buccaneers. You know that last year they had the second-ranked passing offense? This year they're first. Hmm. Do you know that these Buccaneers third best scoring offense last year, this year, third? And the last five Super Bowl champions, <laughs> all top five in scoring offense. They're right where they need to be again. Taking a little adversity, but Tom Brady being their leader, being resilient, is going to respond as well. The only reason, Sel, that if you're a Bucks fan, you should uh, keep your eyes peeled is because there's a quote, and it's, I'd rather be lucky than good. Sometimes I'd rather be lucky than sometimes, good. Sometimes. But yeah. the emphasis is on sometimes. Yeah, it better be. Because sometimes. I would rather be good than lucky oh, more yeah, times yeah. than not. Oh, yeah. And it appears that who's going to get to the Super Bowl out of the NFC is going to be a luck play. Hmm. When the... Buccaneers beat the Cowboys. The Cowboys should have won that game because the Buccaneers yep. were very unlucky. Leonard Fournette, pass goes between his hands. Mike Evans, what are you doing? Pass goes between your hands. Mm -hmm. the, the Buccaneers were very unlucky. And the game against Washington, once again, anything that could go wrong did go wrong. Yep. Murphy's Law. Leonard Fournette, ball goes between his hands once again. Uh, Tom Brady, ball floats high, just very un-Tom Brady-like. Anything that could go wrong did go wrong. If you are the Bucs, the only reason to be worried, I don't want this to be a luck play. I don't want this to be a flip of the coin, who's going to go to the Super Bowl. Mm. I want to make sure that week in, week out, I am better than opponents, particularly mm. Washington. I understand, Sell last year, Bucks were gelling. They started off 7-5, and five, if I'm not mistaken, ended off 11-5, and five, something like that. Won eight, their, their last eight games, their last ten games. But this is a different year. Everything is up for the taking. In the NFC, in the AFC, 
any team that wants to be dominant, you can have it. <laughs> Whoever wants to win the MVP, you can have it. If y'all watch college football, the Heisman Trophy, it is up for the taking this mm. year. There isn't a Devontae Smith who is statistically killing it. In the NFL, there isn't an Aaron Rodgers who is statistically killing it. Mm. It's up for the taking. Mm. Somebody just has to go take it. And unfortunately, the Bucs just have not gone to take it. They can still take it because it's up for the take it. Yeah. But I would rather somebody, the Bucs in this case, just go stake your claim and say, nah, this is mine. Y'all can fight over seconds, <laughs> but I'm going to get this one right here. Oh, let's talk about that. Um, you say you don't want luck to be at play in this situation. But luck is always at play. It doesn't always dictate turns, but it's always at play. Last year, Super Bowl, Kansas City Chiefs, how their offensive line looked. Luck was at play. Like, you know, you got to make sure that your luck doesn't dictate your turns, but it also doesn't hurt your chances to go out there and be successful. And no one can control that. You put yourself in the best position, and then the luck will follow you. But at the same time, injuries at the wrong time, that's an unlucky play. Let's talk about what's going on right now in the NFL. No one is standing out, right? And I don't know. I'm so weird. I always go back to these moments. You ever go to the club? You go to clubs, or are you just more uh, of a lounge I'm guy? A lou I'm not even an out guy. You I be at the crib. You be at the crib? I be at the crib. Damn. Playing that piano, huh, Kawhi? Uh-huh. Okay, Renaissance man. Whatever. I'm going to catch you <laughs> out. I can't wait to catch you out. I tow out these streets. Uh, <laughs> then you be like, why he out in these streets? <laughs> then you got to know how to come back at me. Um, but here's the time. When I used to go out, and you got your eye on somebody. You know how it goes. And you just sit back. You're like, all right, let me, let me. All right. Level one is free. I'm anxious. So as soon as I see somebody, I'm like, ah, hi. And she's like, wait a minute. That was too much, too fast. Like, calm down. Relax. Don't be anxious. But then there were times I was reserved. I was like, let me check out mannerisms. You know, let me just see who she with, who she know, what's going on, what's the flow. And meanwhile, I'm having my fun. But that eye, you know, I got that peripheral vision. I can see. And then finally, I'm like, okay, opportunity strikes. No one's around her. And she's right there. She's kind of looking up in the air. I just say, hello, how you doing? You know, Marcel Spy, you know what I'm saying? What it do, baby? Yeah. Anyway, I talk, I talk, she talks, we talk. And then, you know, I used to hear more times than I ever thought. You know what? No one's really been speaking to me tonight. I was like, yeah, really? Because I just came over here just to say, hey. She's like, yeah, you know, guys come up and then they just walk away and stuff like that. Intimidated. Who is not scared to go take this is the mm -hmm. conversation I'm having right now. Because sometimes you can be like, yo, I can't have that. I can't do that. And some teams are in there. I think Carolina is a team that if they get over their fear and just flex, Carolina could go out there and make some noise. Green Bay is sitting there like, man, we got so much inner turmoil in terms of, is Aaron all in? Aaron is all in, but Aaron is not here. But Aaron... There's no team. Dallas Cowboys, you keep telling me this, and I don't want to believe you. Hey, is our coach going to get in the way? Some of these decision-making, blah, blah, blah. Are we focused? Every team has an issue. But only one team right now in this conversation doesn't have that issue. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They were just there. They know they can respond to adversity. They know they can go out there and do this thing. So unless another team can stick their head out and say, I conquer this, Tampa Bay Bucks is the one you got to believe in. But you know how it goes, Sal. They always say, don't play with your food, man. Why don't not? play with your food. Because Who didn't have a food fight growing up? <laughs> like, that's some silly people say that. Eventually, it's going to come back to bite you. Like, you can play with fire all you want. You told me what, you was a pyro growing up? Pyro. My Everything. dog was a pyro growing up. But eventually, play with fire if you want to. It's going to burn you. Now, mm. like you've told me, it can warm you. Yeah. And it warmed the Bucks last year. Yeah. They was playing with fire. It warmed them all the way to a Super Bowl. Yeah. But this potentially could be a different fate. Remember, the Bucks playoffs last year. First time, Taylor Heineke, because Alex Smith was not present. Yeah. Second game, Drew Brees' worst statistical game in the history of his playoff career. Why? Third game, Aaron Rodgers. They just didn't go for it. Now, Aaron Rodgers also didn't have the best of games, but mm. Aaron Rodgers, third and eight, fourth and eight, didn't necessarily go for it. Now, to some degree, the Bucks made their own luck. You know yeah. what they say, create your own luck. Or yes. luck is simply when preparation meets opportunity. Mm. And the Bucks are always prepared, and they were very opportunistic. But you just don't know this year round. And if I'm a Bucks fan, I'm looking around like, oh, Rams, ugh. Y'all just, just got beat twice in a row. Yeah. Cowboys, y'all lost to the Broncos. Mm. Cardinals, y'all lost to the Packers. And the Packers ain't had none of their dudes. Aaron Rodgers, you missing games in line of folks? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and claim this one seed. They're not doing that. That's my only problem. Let's go on 4D if that's a thing. I don't know what the hell. I could just see Collins, what is it, Collins power rankings over there? Tennessee at one? Are you, 
Yeah, the herd hierarchy. <laughs> is that scaring you? Nope. Tennessee, Dallas, yeah, if they show up. Green Bay, Buffalo, Patriots. Ooh, come on, Tampa. Back to back.